It is morning in the mountains on Mountain Fun Life. Hi, Frank Murphy here. Delighted to visit with comedy juggler Niels Dunker. Hi, Niels. Thanks for having me. It's good to be so here. So glad that you're here. Now, you from the Netherlands yep. have managed to find joy in our beautiful Smoky Mountains area. You've had a good career here. What, As a European, yeah. what is it like coming not just to America, but to Tennessee? Well, I think for anybody coming to this part of the country, it's so beautiful with the National Park and all the beautiful shows that we have here in town. There's just so much fun thing to do. Are you reminded of any other parts of the world when you see the mountains and... Um, yes, yeah, different parts, of course, like the mountains, beautiful nature, like yeah. some other parts of the country that's beautiful yeah. too. When I see all the shows here in town, like it thinks, makes me think of Las Vegas. Of course, yeah. Of course, without the casinos. Like yeah. But like, make, yeah, so there's different aspects, but like here's so many of the good aspects that I recognize from other parts in the world come well, you together. Know, they say that a lot of the Scot-Irish who settled in this area did so because they were reminded of the highlands of yeah. Scotland, for example. You know, that was a, they felt home when they arrived here. But uh, you obviously have made this your home for several years. Yep. Tell us about that welcoming feeling when you got here. Yeah, it was great. Like, uh, I remember the first time coming here was 2010 because there was this annual convention for kids show and family entertainers. Yeah. So this town is all family friendly and they had the annual convention from Kidabra. They had it here. And I really wanted to uh, study that more so I could start working on Disney Cruise Line. So oh. I came here, to attended all the lectures, felt so welcome and then saw the shows. So I had a great time. But the convention was just a week long. So then I went back home, started doing all my shows. And then uh, later on, then I got in touch with uh, David Fee that yes. uh, produced uh, so many of the shows here in town. Oh yeah, Fee shows. Hedrick was a major part of the so growth rough. and development of the Smoky Mountain. And region. then uh, David, uh, he saw my act at another magic convention here in town at the Country Tonight Theater, like yeah. a Winter Carnival of Magic, which happens every March. And I performed my show there, and then David and Jim, they thought it was a great idea to add me to one of their shows. So we started talking, and then uh, three years ago, then I moved yeah. down this area. and. Uh, yeah, life has never been the same. It's great. So, uh, you, know, you mentioned magic a couple of times. Yeah. Now, there's really no magic with juggling. It's all skill. Yeah. I guess in a certain way, you know, a magician uses sleight of hand to trick the eye into seeing something that you're not really seeing. Sure. And in, and when you're juggling, I mean, it's I can't conceive of how the balls don't just go flying off in every which direction yeah. and drop on the floor. So you're using sleight of hand or skill. Um, yeah, of magician. course, with juggling, it's uh, magic you gotta practice, juggling you gotta practice as well. Yeah. And of course, it's so, uh, so many variety shows here in town. Yes. So, um, for an audience, you cannot give them the same thing all show long. So, that's why a lot of shows here in town, they love right. like, magic, some comedy. So, it'd be a good break after seeing an amazing magic trick, then you bring out an amazing juggler. Yeah, for example, the comedy barn, like every 10 minutes, there's something else that is amazing and fun. So it's a variety right. show, so they bring in the varieties. That makes sense. So uh, Right, because then, uh, you, have you ever, uh, this is an idea at the comedy barn, you could juggle the little pigs that they have. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's... Uh, well, no, you wouldn't I, juggle a live animal. No, like uh, the animal trainer, they take so good care of their animals. I know, they, <laughs> they would kill me. <laughs> <laughs> but part of it is you have this reliable equipment. You know, you know that when you throw the ball in a certain way, you know where it's going to land. That's the art of juggling. Yeah, you gotta practice a lot to keep your hand-eye coordination like yeah. uh, really top top level because yeah. That might be my problem. I'm remembering now when I was little, I was terrible at eye-hand coordination. Yeah. Used to, the eye doctor used to make me do these exercises to try and improve my eye-hand yeah. coordination. Yeah, I was not that good at it either. But then, like through practice, like I started practicing. I've been practicing 20 years, a yeah. couple hours a day. So it really does help with practice. Wow. You get better. Wow. Of all the things you've juggled, I mean, we're talking chainsaws, we're talking these, um, what would, these are just, what, hoops? Or what do you call these? Oh, these are called rings. Rings. Uh, what's, what's your go-to when the first thing you want to practice in the morning? Is it a chainsaw or is it you start with the clubs, the hoops, the, the rings, uh, like the balls? Every morning, okay, first, uh, i got to get my coffee in. Without coffee, like, uh, yeah. my iconation is not that good. And then, um, yeah, when I get to the theater, usually I warm up with the balls first because these are... Like these are a lot of strength in your wrist and everything. It needs the most precision. So the balls, they are like a, almost like the easiest prop. So yeah. it's a good prop to warm up with. And these ones are cool because these are, uh, they don't bounce. They're, they're almost like tiny little bean bags that are fairly- Correct, they're called, yeah, juggling bean bags. That's the so, name. So you don't, you don't have to worry about, it. they're not gonna roll away that very far either. That's a good thing. Yep. Yeah, they're special made juggling bean bags. Okay, so then, what about, no, this is not breakable. I can drop it, it's not gonna break. The rings are 
not breakable. They're hard, but they're not breakable. Sure. What's something breakable that you've juggled? Uh, I juggled eggs. Eggs. So, so one time we had World uh, was uh, for Easter, and it was World Egg Day. Was kind of <laughs> close to it. So for a promo thing for the Comedy Bar and Theater, uh, I juggled raw eggs. Uh, five raw eggs. So I set the world's okay. record for All right. juggling raw well, let's eggs. Let's wrap this up. I'll throw these balls to you as quickly as I can and see if you can incorporate, the, you can juggle Okay, them. do right. underhand tosses. That makes me a little easier. Underhand? Yeah, underhand tosses. All right, here we go. There's one. There's one. There's two. two. There's three. three. There's four. There's, oh, I missed. That was on me. <laughs> That's still going. See, four is still better than nothing. There you go. There we go. All right, comedyjuggler.com. And they are coming back right Oh, jeez. <laughs> Oh, that was awesome. <laughs> Comedyjuggler.com, Niels Dunker. <laughs> he pelted me with the, with the juggling uh, bean bags. I loved it. These hurt. I oh, don't do Yeah, that. okay. <laughs> we'll be back with more of the show coming right up.